Okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to Otto's account review today. I don't know how I forgot that yesterday, but, you know, you know, uh, we got time. It's fine. Anyway, though, we got some, uh, Arthur versus Dragon nonsense to do here. So, slightly cheating, I am totally using the Yang CE right now, but to be fair, it's like a, an advantage to Arthur's toolkit is that it's easier for him to get his NP on time while using a CE without starting NP, right? And it's like the best one, so... Alright, let's see what we get here. Sadly, we made like no stars the turn before the start here. So our chance to crit's gonna be kind of meh. Although Arthur does make 30 fucking stars. Okay, I'll take 80 and 100. This is acceptable. Do Atlas right off the bat. Alright. Let's put that, um... Let's put the, the fire first, and then we'll bet on 80% here. Let's go slow-mo for the drama. By the way, my Yang CE is level 99. It's not 100 yet. Dude, not, I'm not even kidding. This isn't a meme now. Like, 99 to 100 for craft essences is awful. It's so slow. It's a lot like going from 100 to 101 for servants. Okay, that's pretty good for being neutral in AoE. We obviously have our niche, but I'll take 119. Uh, and then we get 107 on the normal card, okay. Kind of embarrassing our NP there. Arthur could really use an NP upgrade, but and then the dragon just instantly crits us. Okay, well, good start. Dragon's like, I can do this too. And okay, game. Well, we definitely lose now. Like, there's no like Arthur has no survivability. That's like instant loss right there. That's so dumb. He has such a low crit chance too. Stupid fucking dragon. I need to use the command code for crit down. Like, what was that? Well, um, I'm going to focus on NP gain then. Let's do that. Man, he took out half of our life right there, and he didn't even buff once, so he attacked three times and double crit. What a joke. At least we have the heal there, but that's not enough. Like, if he didn't get crit, then it actually would have been worth something. Well, we'll get to NP again. Max, any chance you are lurking in chat? Because if you are, uh, we should totally use Mordred here, because Mordred's got that anti-saber passive. Uh, I'm actually quite interested to see how that does. Uh, thank you for the 100 uh, bits. Let me just go with Cobb there, because, uh, you know, I'm so good with these names. One turn, and we get our skills back. I do, but it's not ranked up lost. So it does help, but it does not help a lot. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know if I NP here, because we're about to get our third skill. I could NP Art Art, and then third skill for the battery. I don't think it's gonna get us close enough though. But those Art cards have a decent crit chance. Hmm. Now, if we were ever, if we were gonna beat this stage, which I actually have beaten this stage with Arthur before, and that was before he had uh, the new passives. But he had to get really lucky, and the dragon double critting us right there, I think just ended it. But the, you, to, to beat this, you would have to NP three times for sure. But I feel like we're not going to do that. If, I'm, if we're not going to do that, I think you save the NP. I mean, maybe, I don't know. We might be able to get one more NP if we get lucky. And we got invulnerability still. I guess we use now because... Because we got double crit there, there's just no way we ever make it to the boss's NP turn. So might as well use it now. <sighs> oh god, what do I do here? 
I guess I NP art art. Is it even? I don't know if it's worth it though. If you're not using the other stuff, but well, we have the buster up. This is the last turn of the buster up. It's the last turn of the crit up. I think I NP art art. And then uh, we try to get our NP again as quick as possible. 70% please don't fail me. We, we really need that crit. Unfortunately, Richard seems to have taken our crit luck. Alright, I'll take that. I so look forward to the day that we get to do Richard versus Richard. I think that's going to be great. In like, you know, 2099. I might as well use my first skill because it lasts three turns. I want to make stars, and I really got to get my NP. I think we art quick art. I wish our other heal was off cooldown one turn, because we might live a little longer. I could have done art art quick. Oh my god, I could have done art art quick. Hell, I could have done buster art quick, I think. I didn't want to deal with RNG there, though. Wait a minute. What is wrong with me? I'm throwing. Our third skill has battery on it. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That was such a bad turn. How not to use Arthur 101 here. How come the only... Look at this. Look at this fucking hand. Look at this. We're missing... Okay, 50 stars means 100% crit for every card, right? We have 46. That means there are four stars missing. So we have like four negative crit, if you will. Every single negative crit went into the best buster card in the deck because that's the one with the command code. Every other card's 100%. You know, they could have been like 90 on this card, 90 on this card, 80 on this card. No, 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 You gotta put all of it in the only card that matters. Fucking fuck. Also, I forgot to keep burn up on the target. Okay, we really gotta use Arthur again. We, uh, we, we have made a few mistakes here. We've, uh, th there, there have been some misplays. I, I didn't have burn on the target. We did not do as much damage or charge in last turn as possible. We also had really bad luck with getting crit there. Truck Coon, here are the last four stars. Oh my god. Come on, 60%, let's go. Easy. Look at that, uh, 111k. Well, he can definitely beat the- Will you stop? Richard's a dick, dude. He's crit us like four or five times. What the fuck was that? This was totally winnable. That, that was so fucking winnable. This game, dude. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's try that one again. <laughs> Saber one. You know, uh, it'd be cool if we could play as Richard. That'd be, uh, be nice. Why do interludes cost this much fucking AP, by the way? Like, wh why? What is the point? Like, yeah, no, we don't want you to play the game. And you have all these old units that have to do, you know, stages to unlock their third skill. And they take an ungodly amount of, uh, uh, of AP to get through. Like, Robin and Mozart unlocking their third skill costs, like, 300 AP or something. Like, what? Why? Like, literally, why? Like, it's, it's so stupid. You know, new units don't have to do that. So, in my opinion, what they should do is all old units should get their third skill just like everyone else. And then if you still want to get the SQ from doing their strengthening quest, you can still do it just for that. But you don't need to do it to unlock their third skill. Like, it's, it's just fucking pointless. It's a massive waste of AP. And all interludes should have their AP cut in half permanently. Like, just permanently. And it's, it doesn't need to be an event. It should just be, yeah, well, these don't cost that much anymore. Because, you know, that's dumb. Like, 21 per stage, and, like, they normally have, like, three to five stages. It's just, it's total nonsense. I don't know why this game is so obsessed with draining your AP. It's like, people would actually like to play the game. You know, that would, that would be nice. Yeah, it's too greedy. Wish you could use your command spells for more AP. That'd actually be awesome. Okay. Let's just try that once again. Yeah, none of the third skill unlock stages are interesting, like, not at all. And some of them seriously are long, like, some of them go up to, like, six arrows or some crap. 
And you have a lot of characters. They have to unlock their third skill. Hey, Max. Max had so backwards. You should not be giving me bits on your birthday. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but Max, if you would like, um, these are all from watching ads. That's a lot of fucking ads. How many pizza ads did you get there? Jesus, I appreciate it though. But uh, Max, if you would like, we you could totally put up your um, your Mordred, and we, uh, I think Mordred versus Richard here would be fun because Mordred's got the uh, the anti saber thing. So it's kind of cool to see how far that gets. Yeah, that's better. That see, that's L Lost has the right idea. That's what I should be doing. What's wrong with me anyway? Thank you, Lost. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Got some NP at the start, okay. This is good. Yeah, happy birthday, Max. I, uh... You know what sucks, Max? The, that fucking David video I made got, uh, like, copyrighted, so the music had to be muted, so, like, in the middle of the video, it's all fucked up. And uh, there's actually a way that I can fix that, and I want to do it. There's, there's oh my god, so chat, I'm, I'm insane, and I'm gonna do this at some point. I just need a lot of free time. So like the, 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 the David solo video, the Epic NP1 video, the, the, you know, those got like messed up because of copyright stuff. And I can fix them, but what I have to do is I have to take the original footage and completely mute it and then record all of the sound effects and shit separately and edit them in individually and then put new music on top of it. That's what I have to do. And I probably will do that if I get the spare time. But, um, that is going to be very tedious. I'm not looking forward to that at all. But it kind of has to be done, to be honest. Especially, like, the, the NP one. I really have to do that. Um, I, I just need to, like, take a day off where I don't stream. And instead of streaming, I just do that. Because that, that's going to be very time-consuming. It's kind of fun doing that stuff, though. It's, it's, it's only the time-consuming aspect of it that I don't like, really. Okay. Yeah, let's get some, uh, Mordred action in here in a second. Hmm. Max, don't you have, um, a really upgraded Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde as well? Because I want to test that somewhere with his, because his, his passive is actually good, although you probably don't have it yet because he's a low star in, you know, this fucking game. Um, but at some point I really do want to try that. I'm just trying to think what stage... It, do we have a writer stage? Because that's, that's where you test it, right? I'm kind of curious how he does. Not a single coin yet? Oof! I at least have gotten Ku twice. I've gotten Ku twice from FP, so that's a, that's a start. I don't remember making an Emiya versus Summer 5 video. I don't, I don't think that was me. Summer 5 was, uh, was, was it that uh, Paul and, and Blood Axe? Yeah, I, I didn't do an Emiya video for that. That was not me. If it was a stream, I have no fucking idea. I'm, do we even, I don't even know if we uploaded VODs back then. Okay, um... In, okay, so in P, blah blah blah. We're killing a lot of golems though, which means we may not make as many stars as we would like. Okay, Arthur's pretty much set, because we're going to use our third skill, we get more battery, so Star Gen is all we care about here. And we don't have a lot of it, but at least we have some. Do I go for the Overkill? Overkill versus Stella potentially making one more star. The thing is, sometimes Stella doesn't make a star. Hmm. I think we want the Overkill, because Arthur's hit count is three. We do that. Yeah, LaRoche made one star there. Yeah, now now that I think about it, I, I do remember using Emiya in the challenge quest. But I, I I know for a fact I never made a video for that. Like, no way. Because I, I remember I made a... Like, Medusa, you know, budgety setup. Uh, at, at one point. I, I, mean, I made two videos for it. Um, one was like the Medusa one, and I actually don't remember what the other one was, but it definitely wasn't Emiya. I would have I remembered that. 
Well, I have to hold on. I gotta look this up now. I'm I'm uh, my questioning my memory here. Let's see, summer five. Right. Oh, we did. I'm uh, sorry. We did an Atalante one, and then we did a Medusa one. That's what it was. Yeah, and then we did Emia because we were like, how comparable is Emia here to Atalante? Which is actually a very fair comparison. But I don't. What was the results? Because I have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't fucking remember how Emia did there. I imagine he did fine. Okay. We made one more star than last time, so we're gonna have 40 stars now. Come on, RNG. 70, 80? Ugh. Can't say I'm happy about that. Well, we gotta do the burn first. Oh god, something's gonna go wrong here. Something is absolutely gonna go wrong here. Oh, right. He was an event servant there. Yeah, I remember that. Um, I wasn't looking at the screen for a second. I was looking at chat. I have a feeling we didn't crit with that. We, we didn't crit with our other card, did we? Which is fucked up, because that's the one... That's the one that had... Uh, I, I'm just restarting. I don't care. Fuck you, game. That's the one that had the 30% crit command code on it. And that, that's it's so big, and you have the crit skill, and the buster up, right? Hey, there's Max, feels good. Justice for Jekyll and Hyde, I agree with this. You just gotta find a writer, uh, to, although I guess not yet, because uh, he doesn't have his passive yet. We gotta, we gotta make more stars on that turn before, that's the, the issue there. For consistency, it might be better to do the 10% crit command code with Star Absorb on it, honestly. But I, I want to be greedy. Do I do the Buster card and kill a Golem early? I'm gonna say no. It's only like one NP gain. When does that ever run to anyone? Man, I want Jekyll and Hyde to get a buff, like an actual buff that matters, and then an animation update. Like, it's pretty frustrating because Jekyll and Hyde, I remember when I first got into FGO, I had known about him from Prototype, and I really liked him, and then I really liked how unique his NP was, and his NP is still unique. Um, it's just his gameplay is so disappointing, right? It's just not good enough. Like, it's such a, you know what I'm so annoyed with? You know they're just gonna make someone else have an NP like his. They're gonna make some five-star waifu that's gonna, you know, change class and everything and uh, change voice. And I, they kind of already have that, I guess, with the lolly dragon, although it's done differently. But they kind of have that. Uh, but yeah, and, and, and she's better than Hyde. It's, that's so dumb, dude. Like, fucking fuck. Maybe someday we'll get a prototype collab. And things will be put right, but uh, that's probably Kopi I'm talking. Did I taunt? I did. I'm gonna go ahead and make uh, the star gen up skill. So I'll make more stars now to maybe crit with a quick quick card next turn or something crazy. This should give us enough NP right here. Actually, I think we're gonna need a little bit more. Nope, no, we're good. Oh boy. Well, our uh, our star gen is not looking so good here. Come on, Stella, make three stars at least. Actually, I've seen Stella make four stars before, so uh, it, it can happen. We won't really be able to tell if it makes stars on the middle golem. Well, it made one for the front and back one. Oh god, we made seven stars. Oh god. We have an objectively worse chance to crit this time than last time. This is actually the worst of the three. Let's 
60, 80. Oh my god. I love how the art cards just keep, you know, doing really well. There's definitely a world where if your art cards get the crit chance, you just go with that. Oh, this is awful. Arthur, please. Just 60%. We're favored. It's a rigged coin toss. We have literally rigged the coin. Like, it called heads, and we've rigged it so it comes up heads more often than not, right? Like, we're, we're literally being a cheating piece of shit here. But I, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't fucking know. Imagine having Buster up, crit up, and a crit command code, first card Buster bonus, uh, uh, Buster chain bonus. Imagine all of that, and then you don't fucking crit. Oh my god, we just threw away like like 70k damage or some crap. Oh my god, it's awful, dude. At least the dragon didn't crit us. At least there's that. Oh my god. Did one of these crit? No, of course not. No, 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 I couldn't have like a backup crit to kind of offset it a little bit. No, 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 no. Can't, can't, couldn't possibly do that. And, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's no, okay, Richard. Just hack three times. Yep, crit me. Don't even really worry about it. We, we didn't want to win or anything. I, I wasn't in the cards. Okay, give me this 40% game. Come on, give me, give me this 40%. Okay, now on the bit, uh, it's still not the one with the, with the command code. The command code one is never crit. Winning? Nope. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's in the cards right now. If he had some hard survival, that would really help. I have no idea what to do on this turn. This is so awkward. Do we just whiff the battery? I don't even know. I Okay, we definitely use this because it lasts three turns. Hmm. I mean, we've already lost. So I think we go for, like, pinnacle value. What the fuck is pinnacle value, though? I guess it's in peeing a third time. But we actually have a good crit chance here. This is fucked up. Well... Can we at least get this 90? That would be swell. How do you think Mordred is gonna do here, Chad, in comparison? Because Mordred is a better unit for, like, pound-to-pound -pound value, but doesn't have a niche, where Arthur does have a niche here, which I would say normally would put him ahead. But she- and also, Mordred's gonna be more upgraded, because, uh, Max's Mordred is, is super, uh, big. So, I- worse? I- I- I'm- I'm thinking worse as well, but I think it'll be fairly comparable just because Mordred is just, uh, so much more- Oh my god, we- you can see why this is beatable by Arthur, by the way, but uh, you know what would make this a lot easier for Arthur? If my Arthur was actually upgraded, right? You know, he was like level 100 and and stuff like that. Okay, let's uh, let's see how Mordred does. I, I have beaten this with Arthur before, but the win rate is definitely uh, suspect. Okay, now... So we're not using the Yang CE, so to be fair to Mordred, that... that that, that's a that's a pretty big hit here, so even if we're like a chunk behind in a way that's like being on par, but yeah, while wow, already up to 112, man, Max is dedicated. How many grails were you sitting on? God damn. Also, you must be like having real coin problems now. I hope you're, I really hope you're Bond 15 because uh, the, the coins must be a problem now at this point. Because yeah, you got all your passives, Max. How do you, <laughs> did you pick? I had NP8. Ah, that uh, that explains that. Was that intentional, or had you just been spooked by Mordred randomly uh, over time? So I, I I can't imagine you did that on purpose. I'm kind of jealous though. That's a that's a hell of a Mordred right there. Gwen rules. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I guess you're not complaining now. Like back then, you were probably kind of annoyed. Uh, but yeah, now you're probably, uh, pretty happy about it, because <laughs> you just get all your, uh, your passives nice and easy. Look at these stats! Look at these fucking stats! Mordred almost has 20,000 health! When she gets to 120, she will have- that is crazy! 
Dear God. That is absolutely nuts. I That's going to be so crazy when uh, when she is 120. Because that, there's another 10 levels worth of stats coming up. And you also have like the hidden stats on the faux paws. Which are essentially 500 more in attack for your normal cards. So, like, Jesus Christ. 5,000 more attack than Arthur? Yeah, that's what I was saying. He might have a niche, but... Mordred, again, is, is better here anyway in terms of just, like, the survivability because of the third skill and stuff. Uh, and then this one's more upgraded, so I, I think she'll do pretty well. We'll see. The bad thing is uh, we're just going to whiff so much of our... Uh... Okay, game. Uh, okay, game. I was going <laughs> to say we're going to whiff, whiff our starting NP, but hey, we could go for 200% now. But, uh, no. Uh, no, we, we, we can't, uh, do that. Because if we got 200%, right, we could get that extra overcharge. You know, maybe double MP nice and snappy. But, uh, never mind. Look at this quick chain, though. That's practical. At least Mordred will basically never have to deal with RNG on getting in the NP in time, and that is really nice. And you you are then free. Like, it, that, that really is nice, because in team setups you can just NP right away, super easy. Uh, or you can do, like, have a support, like Waver, you know, Merlin, whatever, and, and then have a non-starting NP CE to do more p pinnacle damage, or go for, like, the double NP with starting NP, stuff like that. A lot of options there. That's gonna be very good for Mordred. Okay, well now we got cards. Do I whiff the heal just for NP? I don't think so because we're not making it to 200%. It's just not gonna happen. Hmm. Let's do that. Mordred actually has a pretty high attack stat for the Sabres. Like, it's higher than Artoria's and such. Uh, not as high as Arthur's, though. Okay, we want crit stars, but do we want to whip the heal? Like, we really do want to crit on this next turn, but is it worth losing the heal? I should have used it last turn. I should have used it last turn. That way, it would come back sooner, and I wouldn't. You, it wouldn't go on cooldown again this turn. I should have thought of that because I don't need the heal in the first turn anyway. So that's like it could have been two turns. Yeah, that would. Oh man, that'd have been perfect. I think I use it. Uh, I think critting is really important. It has absorb, but it doesn't matter. You still want to maximize your odds. Also, it's good if you can crit twice. Less RNG, the better. Alright, let's get some, uh... Let's get some Mordred music in here. Okay, now... I am actually tempted... I swear, if we had gotten more NP gain earlier, I, I might use her third skill right away, just to get 200%, and then it maximizes the defense up. But uh, we wouldn't hit it here, so there's no point. All right, let's go RNG. See, this is why, this is why I wanted as many stars as possible. God damn it. Good call with those command codes, though. I actually should have done that with my Arthur, the uh, anti-saber one. <laughs> Fucking 70% right now. <laughs> uh, really not that good of a spread when you consider that she has Star Absorb specifically for her Buster cards. <laughs> that really is not that great. That's a uh, sprite. I tell you, Mordred has got one of the most fucked up NPs for like making the enemy sprite look weird. And then, fuck this game. Fuck this game, dude. Mmm. God, it's so frustrating. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, whenever people make videos of, like showing off NPs interacting with boss sprites, no one uses Mordred, but they really should because it, it makes some weird shit happen. I and mean, then we just. What is Richard on today? Did, is, did he have a bad night, right? Is he just pissed off? Like, god damn, dude. Can't, I can't crit, but he can. That, that seems to be the theme here. He wants to win. I mean, he winning. He, he winning. Like, give me a goddamn break. All right. Um. I guess we just... Do we art art? Is that great? Yeah, let's art art. Really want something to crit here. There we go. I'm so salty that that crit didn't land earlier. And look, he crit us again. At least we had our defense up. Triple attacked us too. I am very tempted to not Buster Chain here. Yep, I'm gonna do this. Richard has mastered the green solo. Oh, shut the hell up with that one. Richard was a Border Gurn fan, I can relate. Yeah, art in the middle because I want stars. Okay, this is bullshit. Th this is this is bullshit. Hey, uh, Tack Tacken I can't say this name. I can't I can't say this name. Tacken Ano something. You, you know you, you know what's you know the drill. You, you you know the drill. But I appreciate the seven months up. I actually think I shouldn't have done Atlas when I did because I'm whiffing it right here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This could have gone so much better. And that... I put all that effort into critting and you didn't crit one time there. And I, I'm sorry. I, we, it, Richard did, though. He took he took the stars. Okay. I And we didn't get our MP. This... And look, we've, we've waited two turns to use our, our skills. So, yeah, a, a, Atlas went in to do the drain. Yeah, this is uh, this this has been going very swell right now. Very uh, very good run. No problems here. Let's try this again. Yeah, that crits though. Yeah, the two hit quick. Okay, that's that's nice. And see, I could have afforded to have waited to use Atlas for our third skill because casting it again is going to be pointless because we're so low on health now. Well, that's not entirely true. There's a chance that we could live one more turn because of it. But Atlas did not do well here because we whipped our cooldown reduction entirely. Oh, oh yeah. Now, now you want to do a normal crit spread. God damn it. The dragon is max is crit resistance passive, yeah. Sounds about right. There we go, 83k. Look at this, she doesn't have Yang CE. Yeah, I think y'all are wrong. If she had Yang CE like uh, uh, Arthur, I think she would have gotten farther here. And I actually think it's possible for both of them to beat this. Uh, wow, we, we don't even need the debuff clear because of this. But uh, Mordred probably needs more RNG than Arthur, though, when I think about it. Uh, okay, well, we need to heal here for sure. We'll do this. I don't know, maybe I should have done Art Quick Art. I don't think these crits, though. Yeah, it's not enough NP gain. Fuck! Probably gonna live, though. Yeah, on this run, I think default would have been better. On other runs, though, it, it could be, it could definitely be Atlas. It just didn't line up. Um, I guess I do the other baby heal and just hope that we get uh, lucky and live. We need him to like double buff. We might be able to live if he attacks twice if he if he low rolls, and I mean with super low rolls. Obviously, he can't crit. 
Buff? No! Why are you like this, Richard? Why? We, I, we, I like how we live the two heads. We, we live the two heads, and he's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, nope, nope, just kidding, you're actually dead, and it didn't matter because I crit. God, could have done a buster chain there. I mean, she did really well. Honestly, with how fucking horrible that RNG was, she did super well. Right, like, and for big AoE neutral, no niche and everything, I, I had pretty damn good performance. She so actually can beat this, which is pretty impressive. Wait, I mean, if you got the aim CE, by all means. Like, by all means, if you did it on Arthur, I, it's only fair. Dude, Richard was just not having it, man. Just he's a, I don't know, a Toria fan or something. That's <laughs> all I got here. Alright, let's try it with, uh... With the Yang CE, see how that goes. That was honestly impressive though for how bad the RNG was. Did um did we ever I bet you Chaco John has soloed this because she's busted. Oh, is it time for a Gundam update? I finished Gundam Seed and it was good. Honestly, I was expecting Lagus to be more lame. Yeah, she's not that bad. Uh the seed thing didn't get explained. Yeah, of course not. It's just like genetics or something. Is it supposed to just be Super Saiyan for coordinators? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, uh, I really like the druggies in, uh, in Gundam Seed. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess you I hope you've been enjoying your time with all these Gundam shows, because you keep watching them, so, uh, uh, I'm, I presume you've been enjoying thyself. The second season is just so messed up, dude. This, like, oh my god, I don't, I don't, like, the writer even said Mula Flaga is supposed to be dead. And then they just, he's not, because fuck it. Gundam speedrun, indeed. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at how fast he's gotten through all this. 80%. Uh, if, if I might make a recommendation, though. Uh, I would recommend, because it's just very different from what you've watched up to this point. Uh, do I need to put on more than one burn? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, that's what I did for Arthur, pretty much, so let, let's see how it goes. Um, but if I may make a recommendation, I, I would recommend Gundam 0080 next. Now that you've seen, that's like a terrible one to start with, um, because it's so, I don't know, unique. But, uh, I, I don't even want to say anything about it. I don't, I don't want to spoil it. It's very different. It's quite short. Uh, it, it's just very unique. Some people don't like it. Some people really, really like it. It just depends. Uh, it's a bit of a slow burn, but it's supposed to be, and it, it works better on that one. Um, but yeah, I would recommend Double O Gundam Double O Eighty next. Uh, I really, really like that one, and it's just very unique. Uh, and it's good that you've seen Eighth Mess Team and stuff because it's in the same universe. It's in the same universe as Eighth Mess Team. So, you know, I actually like Flay. She starts off horrible, but she grows the fuck up and, and realizes all of her mistakes and becomes a reasonable human being. And then, then you know, catches fire and dies because you know anime. But, uh, I, I, because Flay grows the fuck up, I actually like her just fine. If she didn't grow the fuck up, I would hate her. But, uh, I actually think Flay's a pretty reasonable character because, you know, she's really young and she's spoiled and of course she would be due to her upbringing. Uh, and when she's thrown into that situation, of course she's gonna act like a twat, but then she pretty quickly grows up and, you know, sees her faults and everything, so... I actually think it's a pretty decent character, really. Okay. Kind of bad on the NP gain right now. If we fall short, we can use our third skill. This is a little, uh... Yikes right now. It's gonna be up to the next turn. I mean, it's not awful using our third skill early. It, it's, it's really not. And yeah, I was just talking about War in the Pocket, but I don't I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to spoil this guy at all. I want him to just watch it and you know let it, let him have his own opinion. Uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Well, we couldn't get our NP now even if we wanted to, and we also can't really get uh, stars. Okay, 
Gonna be really pushing it on not killing this guy because Mordred's so beefy. Alright. Man, Mordred did not have a good time with the, the deck spread here. That might work in our favor just because we line up our cooldowns better, but I doubt it. It's probably not good that that happened. We only made three fucking stars. Oh boy. Oh. The deck was not on our side. Unlike Arthur, our odds of critting here actually are kind of meh. Fuck, that one was 70%! Like, there's, we're still favored for fuck's sake. At least we got one. I, 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 I was gonna be happy as long as I got one. If we didn't get one, I was gonna be out of my mind there. Kyro, don't you be rooting. Don't you be rooting for the dragon. Don't, don't you start with that. Okay, I could heal with quick, but we'll whiff a chunk of it. But it's not a bad time to do art quick art. Yeah, I think we do that. Gotta lean into the NP here. None of it crit, though. Love it. Dragon, what are we doing here? Why couldn't you do that last time? Yeah, I need to reapply burn. Let's do the old BAA. The ba, if you will. Can we get a crit? Between, I, I don't, look. Between those two turns, the, the AQA and the BAA, if literally one card had crit, we would have our NP right now. And look, that would line up perfectly with our skills coming back. And we had a perfectly reasonable chance. Between all of that stuff, we had a perfectly reasonable chance of something critting there. God damn it, dude. <laughs> this is how Eric Bloodaxe was born. He tried to solo with Mordred. Mmm. I guess we make stars. Dude, that is so dumb. I needed to cast my skills there, because then I might be able to cast them again. You didn't crit again? Dude, we just had three turns of a lot of like 20, 30, 40% crits. It's all over the place, and none of them crit. And let's not forget the 70% that didn't crit earlier. This cannot be the statistically likely outcome right now. I don't, I, I don't, I, I just, why, why do we, why do we even bother? Holy fucking, sh oh, oh, thanks, Mordred. Yes, now, now you, you bless us with the crits. You couldn't have done that, you know, throughout all the other turns. Dragon crit resist p passive coming in clutch, apparently. One oh eight though. Eighty eight, man. I I can't even imagine at uh, imagine we were counter classing and we were one twenty. That is that is some oomph right there. Mordred is rebelling against herself, thank you. See, I want to use our third skill, but uh, I can't. So, uh, yeah, Atlas not really working out right now. It would have if that one turn didn't fucking betray me. Okay, let's go for the, the heal here. This is absolutely winnable. I like how Mordred is standing there pretty casually with like her sword on her shoulder. Dragon and completely engulfs her in flame and she's just standing there like nothing happened. 90. Oh god. Oh my god. This is... 
this is not a this is not a favorable timeline this is absolutely not a favorable timeline get some uh music in here well we got uh we, we got crit chances now might as well take advantage of it while, while we got the crit buff 50 50 70 work with me here At least Richard's not critting the shit out of us. Alright, I think we BBB because we've got that 40% crit and we need to reapply the burn. Yeah, I like how we crit there. At least, uh, they kind of explained that with, uh, with his wife shielding him, right? And he's still super foobar, so that was a bit more acceptable than normal. Oh, we almost got it. Yeah, I'm ready to Z in case we win. Woo, boy. Please don't crit me, Richard. All right. You know, I got to say, with the Yang CE, I actually think she does this reliably because we got we got lucky with Richard not critting the crap out of us, but um, we didn't really get lucky in a lot of other areas. So I'd say, actually, her ability to solo this with the Yang CE is decently uh, reliable. It's I, She probably has like a 60 or 70% win rate, I feel, somewhere in there. And once she's 120, she'll probably have like an 80, uh, 85 or some odd percent win rate, I think. Not bad. Not bad. Very impressive. Yeah. That's, that, that's some, that's some brute force right there. Because she's obviously AOE neutral with no niche, really, other than her third passive. But that's not that big of a niche. Uh, so that's just some, you know, raw oomph right there. Okay, let's take a quick break and, uh... Let's do some account review stuff here. Let's look at auto account, auto's account, and we got Red's account as well. Uh, I said I'd do Arjuna's account today, but we won't because Arjuna messaged me, uh, and she's busy today, and she wants to be here for it, so we'll do it uh, tomorrow. All right, let's let's uh, let's see what we're looking at here. Give me a second to set it up. Okay, I see we do not have a picture to give us context. Tisk tisk tisk. Uh, what are, uh, although it's auto, so this is pretty much a flex account, so I don't think there any advice is needed here, but we'll see what uh, what we got. Okay, so we got the NP ranks on the side. That's nice. Welfares are almost all welfares are NP five. Well, that just begs the question: uh, which welfares aren't NP five? All right, obviously we got Maximum Ibuki, which is sadly NP1, uh, but on the, the plus side, Ibuki is so normal card focused, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, it's certainly not ideal. Uh, I, I got Nero Bride, what's her NP rank if you want as well? So really good art DPS, really good support. Uh, skill ranks are kind of scuffed, but uh, I, I don't think Auto actually plays JP that much, I, I don't think, so not too surprising the skill ranks are kind of fucked up. Uh, so for AoE, you got Abuki, uh, Burgist, um, you got Tomoe Gozen, you got Chaco Jana, you got uh, Suzuka Gozen, so you have, you have loads of options there. You literally got Buster Art quick, so you have everything there, just ter terrible skill ranks. Legitimately, uh, for, on the advice side of things, I really would say get uh, focus on Nero Bride skills, I would say, just because uh, she's so good when her skills are maxed out. But I'd imagine Burgess is next on the, the list just because she's grailed and everything, so it just kind of makes sense. And Burger's in P2, I see. That's pretty good. Uh, but then maybe Chaco Jana after that, because Chaco Jana really is super good. She's a good AoE saber on her own right, but then she's also a great support. Did you take snake gems? I have no snake eyes. Feels bad. Alright, what do we got here? Look at the big rice man, though. That's nice. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 2, level 100. That's quite nice. I bet you that's a fun one. So look at the caster list. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was even saying that last stream. I should do that first. Okay, so we got Merlin, uh, scuffed, Waver scuffed, uh, but that's still good general stuff. Oh, and Castoria is maxed, though. So, uh, you don't have Scatty, so Quick is the only one being scuffed there, but that's not that big of a deal, really. Uh, but that means you do favor Art, but, uh, a lot of your favorites seem to be Buster. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, 
the uh, what Queen of Sheba there. Only in P1 on JP feels bad, but uh, yeah, technically you should favor Art, but I suspect you favor Buster because you've got uh, Burger and Ibuki. But uh, you got Cat Story, the one that 10 10 10. But yeah, those skill ranks are pretty scuffed on uh, on Waver and Merlin. And you obviously obviously got Awawa at 10 10 10 there, and level 100, Jesus. All right, so. I mean, you don't need to level anything. I mean, again, there's no there's no point in giving advice to accounts like this because they pretty much have everything they need. It, well, every once in a while, they might have like that one slot. It's like, what the fuck? Look, David's second skill is 10. You know, I can't hate on auto here. He's doing it right. I have a exactly zero lores. I, uh, I know that feeling. But hey, you got David's second skill to 10, so you know what, what's up. Uh, that obviously works well with Merlin and Castoratoria, so it's really good, actually. Uh, so you got uh, Ronnie Span for AoE, Hot Wheels for single target, uh, and then Chiron for like support single target. Your Archer slot's pretty weak though, to be honest. Thankfully though, you do have David, uh, Hot Wheels, and, and Ronnie Span, but uh, let's see, what is, uh, Ash is just MP1, so that kind of sucks. Uh, so your strongest DPS here then would be, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe Sith? Obviously, she's not leveled and maxed out, but her at MP2 is pretty good. I don't know. Fujino is really good now, too. That's a hard call. I don't know. Ash is so busted. It might, even at MP1, it might just be Ash, and you've already got him grailed. Oh, no, he's not grailed. He's 80. Excuse me. But he's, he's so close to 10, 10, 10. Uh, and you have Merlin, so... And you don't have Scatty for Sith. So, yeah. I, Sith probably isn't the best on this account, then. But, uh... What do you got for AoE here? Not a lot. You pretty much have, um... Isn't Ilya AoE? I don't even remember. But yeah, you don't really have, um... Artemis is 90 now? Well, that's actually handy. Um, so yeah, you're kind of lacking an AoE. You got uh, Arash, at least. But legitimately, I would probably level Emiya. What, what's, what's his NP rank? NP2? Yeah, I would level Emiya. I really would level Emiya on this account. Because, uh... You don't have Scatty for Atalante, and Atalante's NP1, where Emiya's NP2, and you've got Merlin for the going Buster, and you've got, uh... Uh, cast your Toria for the go art. So honestly, Emia makes a lot of sense on this account, and you definitely are lacking in AoE. And Emia is good for farming these days. Fujino skill ranks, though. That's a bit big of. Okay, got more variety here for uh, for Lancer. Romulus is NP2. Uh, Canis is NP1. You're not, you're not getting me with that. Uh, uh, so, R Romulus is definitely your, your way to go for AoE Lancer here. And then you can always, though, use your, uh, uh, Dragon Lolly and use her in third stage, use her third skill right away, right? And, uh, that's good AoE as well. Uh, she's NP1, Romulus is NP2, though. And again, you have Romulus, uh, you have, uh, Merlin for Buster and Waver and stuff, so I'm sure you have no problems farming with, uh, Lancer stuff. And you got Fionn for Caster Toria. Need, need those skill ranks, though. Those skill ranks are super bad. But yeah, your AoE options are fine, your single target options are fine, it's really just your skill ranks are scuffed as fuck. Um, but yeah, you've got perfectly good options here. I mean, there's really nothing to say for accounts like this, that's why I don't really do- I don't do them very often because... It's like, m most people this far in, uh, that know what they're doing, you know, they're, they're not gonna have any gaping holes, so they don't need any advice. Um... Yeah, of course you got Awawa, uh, uh, number two there, at 100, 10, 10, 10. Not, not surprised by that one. Uh, let's see, so what do you got? You got, you got, again, you got plenty of options for AoE single target. Actually, a little weak on single target, but you do got, uh, Ozzy and Quetz. Their skill ranks just aren't really there. I, I would actually prioritize, uh, Ozzy a bit, though, just because he's so good. But, I don't know, with Awawa, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, your Martha's scuffed as hell. Uh, did you have any other debuff removal stuff? You do have Asclepius, so that's, you don't need any, it's between Asclepius and Castoratoria, uh, you don't really need Martha, uh, because you have both of them. If you were missing one of them, I'd say you probably do, but it's still, it wouldn't be bad to have Martha. I mean, Martha's still really good, but I think because of Asclepius, it's not that bad. Uh, I guess unless you don't have buff removal, though. Uh, let's see, you, you don't really have a lot of buff removal, actually. I don't think you have Medea leveled. Uh, you don't have Alex leveled. Honestly, then yeah, it is kind of good to level Martha just because you get a buff, buff removal, uh, debuff clear for you, and then do some stuff as well. So yeah, probably, uh... I'd say, yeah, I'd say I'd prioritize Martha quite a bit on this account. Oh yeah, you've got Kiara on this account, that's true. Still, uh, more options there. The Copio. I, I see, I like how you made it 10-10-10. 
You got the uh, uh, Aphrodite there. I, I think actually she probably will get added someday. I think her odds of getting in are pretty high, actually. I would say it doesn't have to be soon, right? It might not be until 3.0, right? We might have a long ass wait, but I I, I absolutely think at, uh, uh, Aphrodite's getting in. I think Aphrodite's definitely getting in. It, it might be a wait. With Zeus though, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I think Aphrodite's quite likely. Yeah, I want all of them in for sure. I, I, I want the ones that we didn't even see the designs for. I want Hades and just fuck it. Just get all of them. Let's go. Um, so what is this? this is Assassin. So you've got Vinch and Tingu for AoE. Uh, and obviously Fuma as well. Mainly just, again, skill ranks are, are quite scuffed. Uh, you could probably get away. Let's see, Carmella is MP3. You could, if you wanted to, you could make Carmella your main one if, for single target. Uh, or Chiyohime with... Uh, or Chiyom, excuse me, with uh, Caster Auditoria. Uh, obviously you can do 100 face, but if you don't like 100 face, you can pretty easily make those other ones, you know, work instead. I do think 100 face, though, is better than Chiyom, even if Chiyom is uh, MP4. Like, 100 face is just busted. But they work really well together, too. I like how you have Phantom. Oh, excuse me. There's your buff removal. You, you got Phantom. Excuse yeah, clearly you would never need any more buff removal than that. Um, I really hope we actually get to s they, they said that they made the avatar forms and designs and everything for all the gods, so that means Mars has one, and I would really like to see it. Uh, so I hope we get that at some point. Yeah, they said they made designs for all the Olympian gods, but they haven't all been shown, unfortunately. Okay, well, you don't really need to work on anything here other than uh, skill ranks. Uh, although DPS is kind of oof because NP1 Shiba, as you're probably well aware, fucking sucks. I will be taking donations of, of Shiba after this stream. It'll be going towards a good cause. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, you don't really have a, a strong DPS caster because you're, it's Cersei is Cersei. She is in B4, but it's still Cersei. And then Queen of Sheba's not that great. Uh, I mean, you got you got the book though. Yeah, you don't you don't really need. Oh God, Zig is MP1. I don't know. I might legitimately level Babbage on this account if it was me. You have a lot of DPS casters, but none of them are like great. So I don't know. I think a little back extra backbone, but oh, it's pretty low priority, honestly. All right. So what do we got here? We got uh, T Rex actually a lot uh, more upgraded than I thought. Really unfortunate that she's MP1. You got. Big beefy Morgan there. You got pants. Honestly, your pants can make up for like all the other classes that you're lacking uh, for like single target. So you don't really need anything there because of uh, of pants. Yeah, between pants and Morgan, your your berserker needs and get God Juna. You're like totally fine. What's your God Juna NP rank? Uh, NP one. Okay, well Morgan's probably the better way to go. Like for real, Morgan is really good. God Juna is great and everything, but with him at NP one, uh, you probably don't have much need for him. Then obviously you got Super Kiara. Wait, your Kiara's only NP1? Damn, that sucks. Because I know you're a big Kiara fan, so that, that fucking sucks. Uh, well, hope doesn't she get rated up again soon? Or did we already- did the rerun already happen? Oh god, I think the rerun already happened. Well, that sucks. Feels bad. Uh, you got that beefy a Antonio, though, and, uh, and whatnot. And your, your bunny Artoria is scuffed as hell. But, uh, yeah, that's super scuffed. That's so scuffed, my god. Fucking 211, and you've had that for a while now, I, I would presume. What the fuck? Was this you attempting to get Kiara? Was was that what that will say approves? That this must have been you trying to get Kiara. Feels bad. I like to say dabs. So no no Apple screenshot. I am disappointed. Well, I don't think you really have a rush to work on anything. I mean you're pretty stable other than maybe like uh, get George's first skill to 10. You, you are pretty lacking in taunt walls, to be honest. Uh, and do you even have Leonidas? You do. Okay, that, that's good. You have Percival. You do have Percival. Uh, so that's another way to get, get work on taunt if you want to. But yeah, I mean, really, it counts in pretty good shape. It's got AoE, single target for pretty much everything. Got decent extra classes, good berserkers, so... Hey, Ari. Alright, let's do one more. We'll do Reds. I think Reds uh, actually needs advice. I think it's his, like, JP ult or something. Uh, cause yeah, there's not, there's just nothing to talk about with flex accounts, really. It's just regular red. We, we did red best girl already. That was a, a few streams ago. Oh god, this is like so much text. 
All right, what do we got here? Started about a year ago. It's a Hercules account. Notable CEs, MLB, Dragons, Meridian, okay, get lawn. It's a lot of, uh, I'm guessing it's just a, a, a meme here because the three star CEs aren't, no one uses those. Uh, let's see, got Sakura Scope to him. Oh, that's funny. Is MLB? I guess it's MLB. Uh, got Necromancy, Golden Millennium, yeah, Tree. God, it's like the worst CE in the game. Uh, we got Painting Summer, blah, 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 Aerial Drive, so no Golden Summer or any of that, but only a year old account, so of course not. Uh, Habanero Bean. Okay, I see what you did there. I, you know, Habaneros are good though, like no joke, they're, they're good stuff. Anything else in terms of rolling CE I should aim for other than leveling recommends? I mean, I'm never going to recommend what CEs to roll on. Uh, because generally they just go for the event freebies. Like, almost never are there event CEs, or like limited time CEs worth rolling on, to be honest. Rolling, gonna roll for Chago Jana, Asclepius, I'm assuming you don't have Asclepius. Um, Twins, Canis. Well, you already missed your chance at the Yang CE. I don't know if that's ever coming back, so. Plan to Grail, Ushi, Izo. That's actually worth uh, remembering, because that uh, means you don't really need to level other stuff in those classes too much for single target. Okay, uh, I, 340, uh, that's respectable, right, for, uh, for a, nor a normie, right? I'd be embarrassing for me, but for a, a normie, I think that's a respectable apple count. All right, what do we got here? Esports Mordred is temporary. So is she gonna get grailed at some point? But So she's in P1. I, Bedivere's in P1 and he's level 90. Why aren't you rolling story then? You don't, if you don't have a Sclipius, like, if you like, seriously, if you like, if you fucking like Bedivere enough to grail him and you want a Sclipius, you should obviously roll some story. Like, I, I, I don't say that ironically. I, I really stand by that. I think it's absolutely worth it. I had one of those at one point, level 90 in P1. God, what a dark timeline. Uh, so honestly, your account kind of sucks for sabers because everything that's leveled is in P1. Like ev everything, all of your sabers are in P1 that are leveled up. Um, I, I would recommend you on I'm, well, hold on, Let let's skip ahead here. Let's, I, I, need, I need to look at casters anyway. Um, so yeah, you do not have Asclepius right now and you said you wanted them. And let let's see, do you have any other anti debuff on this account? No Martha, uh, no Medea Lily. Uh, I okay, you do have Cersei. If you really, in a pinch, you needed anti debuff, you could level your Cersei. But I, I'm, I, some people think this is the worst advice, and they're gonna say I'm the worst FGO player for saying this. But I would legitimately roll story on this account if, if you've cleared Lost Vault Four, and you can get Asclepius. And I would try to at least get one copy of Asclepius and one copy of Bettervere, right? And uh, what you could do is also just keep throwing summon tickets at story until you get them and save your SQ or vice versa, right? But if you like Bedivere enough to, to fucking grail him and you want Asclepius and you don't have him and you don't have any other anti-debuff, I think it's totally sound to, to roll story. I mean, I do it on like all of my ult accounts unironically and I think it's completely worth it. The only time it's not worth it is if you're just like really wanting to roll for certain waifus and stuff. But like you said, you're wanting to save up for like Chaco Janna and stuff. So, you know, maybe you save up for that. And uh, on, maybe on the side you throw summon tickets at uh, at story or something. I actually have MP5 Bedivere because my JP occasionally rolls story. Yeah, I, that's what I do. on all of my alt accounts. I normally roll a, a chunk of story from time to time to just grab the story locked ones. And the thing is, it's not. A, I'm sorry, people act like it's terrible advice. It's not because most newbie accounts and stuff don't have good CEs. And the odds of getting K-Scope and stuff like that when there's other CEs rated up on a banner, it lowers your odds of getting good CEs. Most of the limited time CEs suck. Like for, for the ones that are in the banners, right? Like the event ones that are free are, are good normally, but most of the, the uh, limited time CEs are not good. Uh, there's of course uh, huge exceptions like Poster Girl and Yang CE and stuff like that. Like obviously there's exceptions, but really getting a, a chance at 2030, K-Scope, you know, anti berserker, uh, origin bullet, uh, Kanef CD, all that stuff. It's it's worth it. Like it's, it's, that, that stuff is absolutely worth it. So right now, looking at this account, I if it was me, I would absolutely roll story. I, I it's got all it che checks all the check boxes. 
You don't have Asclepius. You like Bedivere. You've even grailed him, but you don't have MP ranks on him. Uh, I'll look at your. Let's look at. Let's rush ahead here and look at your CEs. There's no pictures for CEs. Well, uh, yeah. Depending on what CEs you're lacking, that's another reason it can be good to roll story. Um, anyway, okay. So let's see here. In the meantime, though, I really would level something for for Saber. Let's see. Probably Caesar because uh, he's got good synergy for teammates anyway. He's got such high MP damage, and that's what you're lacking. Uh, if you do roll story though, uh, in like the, within like a short-ish period of time, and you do get Bedivere, then you don't really need to, to level Caesar at that point. As good as Caesar is, it's not really necessary. Oh, I mean, let me go back to casters. I forgot if you had like Scatty or something crazy. I, I don't think so. Uh, so Waver, that's actually good. I tell you, people act like Waver is so bad. I tell you, on a modern account, and I, I'd actually really like Cairo's feedback on this. Uh, on a modern account, right? So you've, mi you've you've missed out on a lot of the limited time stuff from the past, right? I think one of the best supports you can have on an account is Waver. I, I, I completely stand by that because he's still Mr. Universal and a lot of uh, uh, newer accounts that are missing a lot of the stuff from the past. It, you're not going to be able to do a lot of the, 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 the OP stuff and, you know, crazy synergy stuff. And Waver is just such a good universal thing. Get that big defense buff. I guess defense buff is a big... Uh, uh, reason why and as such level your fucking second skill on waiver you giant dum-dum Like I, I see a lot of people act like waivers defense buff is the worst one It was the first one I got to 10 on him because I was more challenge quest focused And it, the lower cooldown is way more important and you don't normally need the extra damage for farming like you honestly don't Like that I think he, I think his defense up is a higher priority than both of his other uh, skills like absolutely fucking lootly uh, because for farming, you just don't really need that extra damage very often, and uh, that defense up will save your ass for a hard content. But honestly, Waver is so good on this account. Like, that's, I'd, I'd rather see that than, like, Scatty, uh, like, for sure. Or even Merlin, really. Well, I, I don't know about that one. Uh, anyway, so because you got Waver, you can kind of level anything. Um, if you're not playing on Rolling Story anytime soon, I would level Caesar. Just straight up, I would level Caesar. Like, you, you need something, right? It, at some point, you're going to need a really hard-hitting uh, Saber, and you just don't really have one. But if you do get MP2 uh, uh, Bedivere, or you're planning on going for it, then don't worry about it. All right, so you've got Robin, and he's grailed. you got Chloe. Uh, so you got you got your single target completely down. You know, maybe you want to level, at some point, someone else. I guess you got, uh, uh, what's her name there? Uh, Attila. But, you know, maybe you want to level Billy or something, just in case there's a boss fight where art gets screwed over. Because they do that every once in a while, where they make a boss where a certain card color is screwed over. But you could probably make David work, because David's a pretty good damage now as well. Um, but yeah, you, you got your bases covered. You got Arash, you got his third skill to 10. Um, maybe level uh, Emiya, which you seem to already be doing. If I was going to level anything out of this lot, I would level Emiya. Like, I, I would probably ignore everything else, and Emiya is probably the one that I would, I would grab. Okay, so you have a Grailed Medusa, and she's leveled up quite a bit, uh, so that, that you got AoE completely down. You said you're probably going to Grail Ushi eventually. Um, so there's your single target and your AoE, right? And then you've got uh, Ryoma as uh, backup. And then honestly, uh, Antoinette's pretty awesome as a support, I gotta say. Uh, she got all the healing, the crit, like a lot of utility and stuff. She's pretty good these days. I think she's really underestimated. Um, like, I think she's super underestimated, so that, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, so you're in good shape, AoE, and, uh, and single target. You don't need to level anything. Uh, your Georgia skill ranks are fine. If I was going to level anything, it would be Alex because his second skill is really good. I don't know how far into the game this account is. So if you already beat Demeter, it's not that big of a deal. But he'd be really good to level for both Demeter and uh, the Vinch fight and stuff like that. Uh, and even the Dog Juna fight, but that's not that hard of a fight. So, uh, But yeah, if I was going to level anything, it'd be Alex. So you, I don't think you have a lot of buff removal on this account. Uh, well, you do have Medea, and she is Grailed. So you got Mr. Worldwide, indeed. Uh, Cursory Crime, what, what's her... Uh, she's in P1. Uh, okay, so Cersei in P2. Uh, I would actually absolutely level Cersei. You do not have... You do not have a, a, a good Assassin Killer. Well, let me check your Berserkers here. Um, okay, well... I mean... There is that... Uh, there, 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 there is the level 100 NP4 Hercules. That's a pretty good assassin killer. Um, and you could just level Jerker, because Jer the one thing about Hercules 
is, uh, you know, he doesn't like get his MP super fast in a team setting without using waiver or whatever, but you have waiver. But it wouldn't be bad. If you wanted an assassin killer, I feel like Jerker would do pretty well. It's still good from time to time, though, to have an actual, you know, honest to goodness, proper counter class to an assassin because of the damage coming your way and stuff. Um, so although you do have Jerker uh, and uh, Hercules, and your Hercules is super, super, super Omega strong, uh, it's still, I think, a pretty good idea to level Cersei because you don't have a DPS caster because Medea is not a DPS caster. Medea is a poo poo caster and she doesn't do anything. Uh, just because you grailed her, just because you grailed a turd, doesn't mean she becomes a a, a a good DPS, right? Like it's just she's she's not a not she's not a good DPS, right? And Cersei's not like amazing, but because she's NP two, she's solid, and you can use Cersei with Medea if you need to actually proper counter class, and uh, that would work pretty well. Like absolutely, I would level Cersei, and she will hold. If you're not planning on rolling story, she will hold you over until you get a Sclipius. And this account needs that. This account sucks for dealing with debuffs. Like, it absolutely sucks for dealing with debuffs. So I, I would say leveling, if you're not gonna roll story anytime soon, I would say leveling Cersei is actually very high priority on this account, because it gives you uh, some, you know, assassin killing, and it gives you anti-debuff, and you need that really bad. Um, let's see, other than that, I don't think you really need to level any casters, maybe just work on skill ranks. Uh, your Chin Gong's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't really need to level Babbage. If you level Cersei, you don't need to level Babbage. Like, I, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, you're not, you're, especially because you're Berserkers, especially because you're Berserkers, but yeah, I love Cersei. Alright, so we got Kojiro, and he's 10-10-10, uh, that's quite nice. Uh, you got Fuma for your AoE, and he's also great. You also got Grey, that's good. Grey combined with Fuma is like, that's pretty much all your AoE needs there, uh, generally speaking. You're kind of lacking in single target because you say you're going to Grail Izo, but he's in P1, which that's just, that's... Oh god, like Izo, even if he's Grailed at NP1, is just not going to perform that well. Like 70, 70, 100 faces better. Like that's just straight up. Um, so you are lacking a little bit on the single target because Kojiro is only 90 and, and Kojiro dies really fast. So you really do have a single target assa uh, assassin problem. And the way to fix that is leveling 100 face or Carmella. Um, uh, I'm get she's NP1 though. I mean, I, I, hate I say this every account review, but... I, I would level 100 face. I think you need it. And even if you're gonna Grail Izo, I think you're still gonna have problems sometimes. If you if you if we never bring back a really strong Rider boss like Bullet Heaven or whatever, you're gonna need a little bit of extra oomph there. Uh, for farming though, I'd say just work on Gray's skill ranks and you're good. I don't think you really need to level anything else. I mean, what else would you even level? Phantom of the Opera? Like, please. Um, so yeah, you're about in as good of a shape as you're gonna be for uh, for that. Yeah, this is Red's account. All right, so I absolutely would level Jerker. I would put that as pretty high priority, not as high as Cersei or anything. Um, but yeah, you've got AOE with your uh, Spartacus. You've obviously got things under control because of your Hercules. And that'll basically carry you against like so much, like it, it, just so many hard bosses. Like you can just be Demeter with that, right? Literally, you can just be Demeter with that. So you don't actually have to level much stuff because of that, Herc's that good. Um, where are you in the game though, Red? Like, wh where are you in the story? 2k Fode, by the way? Yeah, I mean, seriously, he can just solo most of the hard bosses in the game, really. Um, but wh where are you in the story? Lost Belt 4? Okay, so you haven't fought Demeter yet. If you wanted to be more legit about it, then you might want Alex, but uh, you don't really need to because of Herc. The one issue I see for this account is uh, Fluffy. Um, Demeter could be hard though. Um, but with Herc, it'll be fine. If you didn't use Herc for Demeter, you'd have a bad time. But I, I think you got enough. I, I think you got enough for Demeter. Uh, Zeus will be tough, but I think you got most of what you would need for it. Uh, what do you got Avenger-wise? You might want to level Lobo to be safe, but overall, I think you could handle. Uh, the issue is Fluffy, though. Um, I think Fluffy's going to beat, beat, beat the shit out of you. Uh, Herc, unfortunately, is not very good for that fight specifically. I don't really see a DPS here that really stands out for being good for Fluffy. I mean, Robin's okay, actually. Ro Robin is okay. Um, is that the best that this account has for Fluffy? Ushi, if you grailed her to 100, but in the meantime... Let's see, let me look through this. Yeah, I'm very worried for you against Fluffy. I, don't, I do not see a DPS here that like really stands out. It's like, oh man, this is gonna do, do well here. Yeah, honestly, I think the best thing I can think of would be Robin. Um, wait, where is our Lancer tab? There's no Lancer picture! Banned! 
Ban, ban, ban red right now. Just, there's no lanterns. It's bullshit. Ban, ban, a absolutely banned. No appeals. It's over. Oh, is that is that is that on Airy? Is that on Airy? Feels bad. We're uh, we're, we're we're blaming the wrong people. I'm obviously joking for like that one guy that doesn't know I'm joking. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, give me one second, chat. I need to get water. I'm gonna run to the restroom, just take a quick break. I need to get medicine, all that stuff. Give me just one moment here. Let me make sure our music is set up properly here. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. We'll see if we can find that uh, that Lancer page we seem to be missing. Cause yeah, that's pretty important. Okay. My god, it is hot today. I have all the fans on ever. Alright, do we have do we have our Lancer screenshot chat? Here it is. Okay, thank you, Aaron. Let me uh move this over here. Make sure we can actually be seen. Okay, that's a little big. Still a little big. There we go. All right, what do we got? So we have, um, that's, okay. I am not biased. I, 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 the proof is in the goddamn pudding. I think on your whole account, your best DPS for Fluffy is Ku. And, like, uh, absolutely. And thankfully, you're not actually at Lost Belt 6 yet. So you have time to get more coins and stuff. I would, I'm 100% serious. I would absolutely prioritize getting his thirds passive before you get to Lost Belt 6. And I I really think this account should roll story. Like, absolutely, because you need Asclepius 
on this account really bad, and you're going to need that for Fluffy. Uh, and you just need him for debuff stuff in general. And you said you wanted Asclepius. You have a Grail Benavir, but he's NP1. And it also gives you a chance at Ku Coins. Like, uh, how? when is White Day? I can't remember. Where are we relative to when White Day is? Because White Day would be so helpful for this fucking account. Because White Day gives you good odds of getting Asclepius, Benavir, and Ku. Um... March eight months. Oh God. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a bit of a wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, white day would be good. That, that that that'd be like the banner for this account, honestly. Um, let's see. What else? What other? Have we had any class banners recently? That's like the only other time, really. Like, if you think it's possible that like Asclepius will have some kind of rate up or class rate up, then you could wait. But honestly, I I really think this account should roll story some. Obviously, it's RNG. You can get screwed over, but that's always how the game is. Um, this is an NA account? Okay, that changes things a lot, because now you have two fucking years. Um, you know, that, that changes things quite a bit. So yeah, uh, you have, just, just make sure, because yeah, in the meantime, then you don't need Asclepius, right? If you're already in Lost Belt 4, you can just, uh, you know, your Herc will carry you, right? So then, the next time there's White Day, uh, white day or a class banner, you need to get Asclepius. But I, honestly, white, really, I think this account a million percent needs to roll on white day. Uh, like, because you, you like Benavir, you have a Grail Benavir for God's sakes, but you're in B1. So white day is like exactly what this account needs. Uh, okay, uh, anyway, you got, you know, Ku's got your single target completely down, and then you got Crazy Eyes in case you need that. You got Esports Bin K. Uh, well, we'll make an esports spin KS here at level one. Uh, all you're really lacking is AOE. You have the Reshigal, which is really good, which is MP1, but you don't really have any other AOE Lancers worth, like, that are really gonna help that much with farming. So, uh, if you level anything, I would level, um, Proto Coup, honestly. Like, you don't really, nothing else is really worth leveling. Um, but yeah, so for this account, uh, I would say top priority pretty much, uh, move this a little bit. Uh, top priority is uh, Cersei, I would say. I think Cersei is what this account needs the most. But uh, other than that, I mean, Herc's gonna carry you against most things, but this account absolutely is not ready for Fluffy. Thankfully, though, it's NA, so you have a longer... you, you have time. That's, I'm telling you, you might think it's crazy to talk about that every account review, but like he's the pinnacle thing you're gonna have to deal with. It's him and Zeus. It's Demeter, Zeus, and Fluffy. So, uh... It's absolutely worth it to make sure you, you're ready and you prepare in advance, because he cometh, the, the world shaketh, and uh, if you're not ready, he's gonna fluff all, all over you. So, uh, yeah, it's good in advance to try to get a good, strong DPS that's good for that fight and some support. Like, absolutely. I will say that my Grailed Ku on NA is super useful, even despite the fact that I have a level 100 in Kidu, even at level 90, sometimes he's better just due to. Lamau who cuts evade debuff clear indeed and then you know he just gets better uh as time goes on so because they just don't stop buffing him for some fucking reason okay i think we're uh do we do we have an apple count on this oh uh, yeah we got 340 that's right yeah i said that was pretty respectable which it is but yeah your saber slot is a uh, catastrophe but uh other than that it's looking pretty good uh, it's just sabers and uh anti-debuff you have like no anti-debuff hey gambler Okay, let's get back to the nonsense. What do we want to do, chat? Do we want to, uh... Like, we can just mess about, do some team stuff. We can kind of do whatever we want. If we do team stuff, what do I want to use? Hmm. Wouldn't mind showing off Mordred in a team setting. I think that'd be kind of fun. And she's so good in a team setting. This is... We need an event on JP, right? Because you can show off, like, different farming styles. Uh... You know, like with Buster and high starting NP and all that kind of stuff. I do want to do Percival stuff, but I just can't think of anything to use Percival on right now because I don't really have good stages for Lancers. The only good stage is the, um, the, uh, I got one good stage and it's the, uh, Uriel and the Bull one, but I already made a video for that, but that one is pretty good. Hey, Otto, thank you for the resub. I have Europa ready for the dragon. All right, why not? Well, why not? That's a random one, but, uh... You're gonna have a bad time. 
Like, Percival's a pretty easy unit to use, it's just he's so team-oriented with, like, with the tanky stuff and whatnot. Uh, you know, if there's that hard content to do, right? There she is. Oh boy. Alright, well, off we go. Atlas is definitely best for her. There's, Percival would get destroyed by Cleo, though. Like, just that's such a terrible fight for him. Oh, excuse me. That's not the right one. That's the right one. Okay, let me look at her toolkit again because it's been a while. I kind of wish she had gotten buffed. She's not terrible or anything, it's just I think it would have been cool if they had buffed her. I don't need to do her... Well, no, we could do her, her first skill right away. It lasts forever, which is weird. They don't normally do that anymore. Mmm... I'll skip the buster. Yeah, an NP buff would have been swell. He's already at 94%, so all set on NP gain. She's a pretty rare unit, honestly. No one really rolled on her, they rolled on Orion instead. Yeah, I don't understand why Ozzy got an NP buff. I, I don't understand at all. He's so, like, ridiculously strong anyway. But, uh, here we are. Man, Arash has hard work days, man. I want to get a, a freaking Virtra spook. I need that MP2. Alright. Her charm works on anything, but it's only a 60% chance. Does not have anything to increase the odds on that. Well, I guess I just throw it out. Nope, of course not. Okay, so then I should have waited because the crit down doesn't do any good when we have invulnerability, but whatever. I'm not sure that was worth it. Like, wasting the battery there. I don't know about that. Like, I'm gonna art, not buster. Alright, time to bonk. Wait, have you seriously done that, Saber Nero? Have you used a Raj against every single Saber boss? How did that go against Sitting Master? She gets a 50, that's right, she gets that giant defense buff, and that's also wasted when we have our invulnerability. So I probably should not have used my second skill like I did there. Well, that was awkward. I really want to get my NP next turn. She is so soft-spoken that it's really difficult. I'm, I'm messing around with my audio level so much. It's really hard to get it uh, where I want. I guess I'm going to art art again just because her NP is really important. Yeah, her NP gain is a little oof. That's a big boy, man. 
He did not skip leg day. Her face there is pretty great. Just watching the destruction. Like how they reference his boss battle with that animation. I can battery next turn. Let's do quick art quick. Art quick art, excuse me. Good time to heal anyway. She's super tanky, I'll say that. Damn it, we don't actually need our battery. Unless he buffs again. Nope. What do I do then? I think I save it. I think it's... Well... That'll hurt me using Atlas. We won't have the art up. It's only a 20% battery, right? Let me check on that. It is... Now it's 30%. I think I hold it then. I think we art art and then do it. Mozart's not exactly a uh, solo unit. We've, we've done that in a few stages though, when we were like playing through Salem and, and random, you know, main stories. Sometimes we'd solo trash stages with Mozart and it'd actually be pretty difficult. It's something to spice things up. Just that red? Just, just only that? Alright, well, let's see if we get lucky, because if we get the charm on the NP turn, we delay his NP, which is actually really good. Okay. Surely she will get her NP here, right? Crit, there you go. Alright, we, we're all set. Shame we didn't get that invulnerability back in time. For being AoE, I'd say she's doing pretty good right now, actually. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to get debuffed here. Unless that first skill wears off. But I don't, I think it's like, it's based on number of times. So, that's actually really good. I feel like she's almost awesome. Like, she has so much utility and survivability. But it's not utility that helps enough to warrant how bad her damage is right now. But she's almost really good. It should be a lot better as single target, in my opinion. If I use her first skill, the next NP kills us. I think I messed up, and I shouldn't have done, um... I should have done Atlas when I did. I should have waited. This is really awkward. Can I make it to his next NP, though, if I don't use my first skill? Well, let's find out. That really sucks, the timing being the way that it is here. Yeah, if I land the charm, I could cast it again, but I have so little faith in that. That would be the pinnacle run, though. If only there was a command code that boosted charm chance or something. Damn, I was really hoping to get my MP right there. 50% crit versus baby heal. I actually think we have to do the baby heal. We gotta play the long game with survivability. Her animations are actually kind of fun. Don't mind them. No! Don't worry, we had damage cut. That'll save us. Ugh, not looking like we're gonna make it there. That crit really hurt us. Yeah, we didn't have our crit down. We need Talos to just, uh, 
save our ass here. Can he can he just stay, right? Just stay out so we get the 50% defense buff forever? That's reasonable. I, I really think he is one of their better CGI models. You know, he still doesn't look incredible, but a lot of their full 3D like rendered models look like garbage. I, I think he looks okay. Like I, I think he looks significantly better than a lot of the other ones. Using dark colors really helps with that too. Okay, what we need, we have a chance here. We need to not die this turn, we need to cast our first skill next turn, and then we need the dragon to not triple attack. That's where we get like the good timeline. So I'm gonna do the damage cut, uh, heal heal, I think. Gives us our highest odds of not dying here. 4,480 is actually pretty decent odds of living, and we have the damage cut, so... Okay. Alright, it all comes down to this. Uh, we need him to not attack three times. Because if I don't cast it now, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Like, yeah, I could do the baby heal and the damage cut, but I, 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 that's not great odds. I think we have better odds of living if we cast this now. Ninety-seven percent feels bad. I think it's worth it for the damage up now. The fight's coming to a close. 3DS graphics. About right. Come on, one buff. Just one buff. One buff, you piece of shit. You you couldn't buff one fucking time. Yeah, like one fucking time, dude. Oh, and we landed the charms. God damn it. God damn it. Ugh. It's not like it would have resulted in a win, but it definitely would have resulted in us getting farther. Um, I'm gonna hold my NP unless there's no way we're gonna face tank. Look at all these. Look, yeah, these last forever, I think, too, until he NPs. So I might as well NP now. The defense up won't do anything. Yeah, she did very well, and we can see that she could actually get farther. I, I mean, for real, when we do AoE neutral here, they don't normally do well at all, so this is pretty impressive, I would say. And things could have gone a little better. That MP is so funny, dude. Like, she looks so happy watching the destruction. How it would have been awesome if they had the balls to make more unique units from the start. Yeah, I got like Jekyll and Hyde. Dude, a VC Bronze NP kills me. Oh my god, I hate it. I know, Emiya's Unlimited Blade Work should like be a buff, right? It should change the field to Unlimited Blade Works and all of his attacks should become like AoE and like Sword Bomb and stuff like that. Uh, they could have done... I wish they had more daring stuff like what they did with King Potato Chips. Well, I guess I do as much damage as possible. I'll go for the crits. This is our last turn. Honestly, this was qu she was just level 90. This isn't like anything crazy fancy. She's level 90 at what, NP2? And uh, I we could have gotten luckier and, and gotten uh, to live a good bit longer. That's, honestly, I think that's excellent. I think this is super good showing. Now, I will say, though, that stage always rewards units like her, right? Like, units with long-term survival always do well there because of the nature of that fight. Could you show her stats here? Yeah, we'll do that. Because if we, if we do a stage with her that rewards more burst, then she's going to do so much worse than even units that do, do less than her against the dragon, right? It's just uh, different things reward different stuff. There we go. Alright, so 1k foe. Yeah, she's pretty vanilla, honestly. Not even a super optimal CE. It's a good CE, but it's not like the best one for her or anything. Uh, so I think that was a great showing. What's her, uh, what's her third skill for anyway?
Yeah, Ozzy beat the dragon on an A without the buff, so then he just raffle stomped it on <laughs> ruler. It's because of Zeus. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, Ozzy completely shit on it on JP. Default might be better because she could potentially tank the NP without the heals and NP defense buff. Especially if you've got the command code to remove the NP up. Uh, I think that's probably right, Hex. Honestly, what Hex just said might allow her to solo the whole thing if things line up properly. I don't think we have tried Gorgon. Have we tried Gorgon? I don't think we have. That'd be a fun one. I'm really in the mood to do team stuff, but I don't know. I kind of want to maybe just wait for an event and you can use farming stages as like... Uh, just like an excuse to like buff stack, you know, an AOE unit in the third wave or whatever, and you get farming while you're at it. Uh, if it, if anyone's got a good Gorgon, I'd, I'd be down for trying that though. Uh, made some fluffy edits for the Discord. Enjoy the fluffy fluff god. Oh, do you mean like the emote that we've got? <laughs> Thank you for the five months up, dude. I love the 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 summer fluffy emote. That is so funny. He's just he's so excited to go to the beach. I, I, I hope we see that a lot. I might even put, for, during the summer event, I might put that in, like, FFZ or something. Like, just, just to be thematic. I, it, it's too good. He's, like, he's just so happy to be at the beach, man. Like, so, much, so many positive fives. Alright, let's see. I don't know if I have a Gorgon on my friends list. Um, so if no one in chat has one, I'm not sure we can actually test that. Gorgon normally does better than you might think uh, for these kinds of things. What what are what's her? Um, is she Rider? Is hers Rider? Uh, for her third skill, because they sometimes do that where they counter their normal self. Wait, if you don't have o can you not use Oberim stage three if you don't do his stage to unlock it? That's really dumb. It's not even a. Spo I'm so sick of them thinking that kind of stuff as spoilers. Oh, that's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb. And there's no world where I'm rolling over him, so I never get to- I, so I just never get to use his stage 3 then. Because I'm never rolling for him. That's so fucking lame, dude. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. They, they, they really make me not like everything about the way they did that unit, man. Uh, fucking sucks. I can't believe it's fucking Vordergren, dude. He's just- you just you cannot be serious with that. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, not looking like we got any Gorgon uh, to work with, unfortunately. Who's Gorgon? Wait a minute. Who's Gorgon? Did I use for the video? Because I remember I specifically used Gor. Dude, this. Oh God! I wish I didn't. I I, I don't know. I I really like that Gorgon video I made, but. So many people are like, oh man, Green had to use a, a gold to beat Vench. I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Like, you, you cannot think that Gorgon was actually good in that stage. Right? Like, like Gorgon is uh, okay in that stage, but I literally used her because it was a way to show off her value because it wasn't that good of a stage for her, and she still performed really well. Right? That's the point of that video. And I do that a lot, where I use, like, AUEs and single target situations to kind of show off, like, how good they can be and stuff. Like, I, 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 that has bugged me to no end, though, how many people are like, uh, you know, oh, you couldn't free-to-play this. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? Also, a free-to-play can summon in anyone, can summon an Enkidu from their friends list and literally solo that boss. So it's like, or, or they can summon any Tam and solo that boss. The caster Toria, that should be the same for Oberyn though. If you if you don't have the hide spoilers thing, it, that it shouldn't stop it. But I, I I know whoever I used for that video, there's somebody I know. I've, what is wrong with me? Why don't I remember whose Gorgon that was? Hold on, I got I gotta look up my video. Maybe I put it in the video description because sometimes sometimes I remember to do that. Because whoever that is, it's, it's literally somebody that I know, and like I can DM at any point, I'm a, uh, but I just fucking forgot. Let's see. Nope, I don't know whose it is. Shit. I don't 
think it was Rex's? Because Rex's, his isn't, um, his isn't, uh, uh, grailed. Because his is, like, super maxed out, but not grailed. But I think that one's, uh, grailed, I think. Nah, it's not Fury, because Fury's on an A. Like, I know a lot of people have Gorgon, but it's never, you know, just, like, on my JP main. Well, if anyone's got it in chat, you know, at me in, in chat here, but I don't think anybody has a Gorgon, so I don't think we can test it right this second. We could test Rex's. I could, I could message him, but that one's just level 80, so I don't know if that's worth doing. Also, I can tell you right now, Rex is not going to want to put on command codes and all that. But he'll give me the look. Okay, let's let's play the Sinnoh account a little bit. That way I don't have to use any apples. Uh, and I kind of want to get that account going a little bit. And I got a good chunk of Orleans done, so we're pretty close to like the real boss fights. I, I, I say real boss fights, but you know, it's Orleans. But still, I want to do some management stuff on the Sinnoh account anyway, so let's do a little bit of that. I am going to restart the stream really fast. That way though the VOD can be separated for anyone in like the future that wants to just kind of keep track of the Sinnoh account. So give, uh, let me just, just come, like, turn it on and off again here, or off and on again.